you take, let's say, a human being and put him in one of these big, very homogeneous magnetic field magnets, then there's a tendency of that magnetic field to line up the magnetic moments of the nuclei, the spin of the nuclei in the hydrogen in your body, which is in your muscle and in your blood. Now put on a radio frequency pulse, say 60 megahertz or something like that, then you can make this magnetization of your hydrogen nuclei, you can turn it 90 degrees away from the direction of the magnetic field. Your magnetic moment will precess. If you have coils around, pickup coils, they, it will induce a signal. If I want to see where the signal is coming from in your body, I put on another magnetic field on top of the very homogeneous one that's called a magnetic field gradient. By that I mean it makes the field stronger in one place and weaker in another place. What you do in order to actually get the image that you want, the fine resolution that you need, is you put on magnetic field gradients of different strengths, a series of pulses. That's why if you get an MRI machine, you hear boom, boom, boom. It's all these pulses that we're putting on with different strengths of magnetic field, perhaps even different directions because we want to get a three-dimensional picture of you. You record all of these data and when you finish you can now use what's called Fourier transform. It's a mathematical technique. You can work back to how strong the signal was in each of these uh, voxels. And so this is how the image is developed. What's up you two? It's MR2. Now here we go. As of May 22nd, they've uh, finally announced the validation of the hydrogen energy and to be able to extract electricity directly from water vapor. And we knew this was going to come out sooner or later. Actually, this has been out since 2008. The um, Wall Street Journal finally published what uh, the universities have acknowledged. And... Uh, well, it starts here. The leading academics and industry experts have validated Backlight's new process that directly produces electric energy from the conversion of water vapor to a new form of stable form of hydrogen. Experts agree that Backlight's hydrino theory represents a fundamental breakthrough in clean energy technology. Backlight Incorporated, or BLP, today announced a major breakthrough in clean energy technology, which experts agree hold tremendous promise for a wide range of commercial applications. The announcement came at the heels of Backlight's recent completion of a $5 million round of, financial, of financing to support commercial development of its new process in producing affordable, reliable energy from water vapor. And I went to their website, and I actually have a little website here, and, and I'll find out more about these the, the plates that they're using. They still haven't, you know, they ain't gonna tell you exactly what they're what they're using. But at any rate, the uh, end result is is is, is this, you know the splitting of water, create creating energy, creating electricity. They plan to have a uh, 1.5 kilowatt unit by 2013, which is next year. To, uh, and, you know, the average household uses about 1.5 kilowatts. So, I mean, one of these will power one home pretty much indefinitely. And, I mean, it's just it's an age-old trick. They, they've actually been using water for energy source for, for eons, the V2 rocket, which the Germans and Warner von Braun invented back, back in the 40s, somewhere in there. They actually used uh, hydrogen peroxide, liquid oxygen, and and they had to use alcohol as a uh, as a coolant fuel to keep the nozzle from melting down. They had problem with heat when uh, von Braun came to the United States. They uh, addressed that problem. And they actually took a uh, took the fuel and pumped it through. They pump the fuel as ice cold fuel through little tiny veins in this in the in the bell house. And they, in fact, they invented this this bell 
to cope with that problem of overheating. They were able to pump hydrogen through the, the tiny little veins to keep the nozzle cool from overheating and melting down. And then they got rid of the alcohol and were able to burn straight hydrogen and oxygen. And, uh, and you can go back as far as you want. I mean, we'll take a look here. Now, I'm not one to do this regularly, so we'll, we'll want to take one quick look over here at Genesis. 25 and it says here that well we we'll go ahead and clear this up right quick God made the beast of earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind and we'll skip on down to 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness now that, that's, 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 that's three times in one sentence so therefore, there is no more need of going and saying he or, or him or, or it, it is us, it is ours, it is them, they, you want to call it what you want to call it, it's wrote right there. And, 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 and of course, if you know, you want to look at it literally, you know, uh, we can all say what we want to say, but here on the second day, well, first day credit light and dark second day let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the water from the water and they made the firmament and divided the water which was under the firmament from the water which was above it and the, they called the firmament heaven by nowhere in this book does it say anything about they created water very beginning they simply divided it and then when they created the sea they gathered it where in here does it say they created water they divided water and that's the way the energy is being and that's where it's always going to be <laughs> we just you know need to get away from nuclear energy as best we can we also need to make sure and pay attention to, you know, I mean, well, I mean, this book here, I mean, I ain't telling nobody to go read this book, but, I mean, one could say, yeah, it's a control mechanism, but one could also look at the way people are doing each other right now, and you could see that this book would, was pretty much intent to keep people from killing each other, too. I mean, if you think about our civilization and the way man has, has come up, I mean, over and over and over, we've... If there wasn't something here, we would not have survived. We killed each other over and over and over again. Always something always intervenes. And, and to think any of us can do it alone is ludicrous. I mean, we, you know, each one of us was born into the arms of another person, and, and without that other person, none of us make it. You know, we always we always ignore the fundamentals of everything. And, and I mean, it's right at the beginning of life. You're here for, for each other. It's right in the beginning of this book. The energy comes from splitting water. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just simple, really. You know, the universe is not so complex that only a few people will understand it. I mean, if you look at nature and birds and fish and everything else, the universe is pretty much simple enough that everybody can understand it. And uh, when it's, you know, I hate to see each other beating up on each other so much. I mean, it, it, it just tears me apart, you know, to see, you know. It, it's hard enough. It's going to be hard enough to make it without each other, you know, hurting each other. So with saying that, you know, I'm just going to push this one out here. Peace and love. Big ol' heads up.